All right, this guy here, just a scary looking geometric sequence, right? It's geometric because we're multiplying by the same thing every time. What are we multiplying by? What's our common ratio? Looks like it's x minus 2, or negative x minus 2 actually, right? 1 times negative x minus 2 times another negative x minus 2, and so on. So we know any geometric sequence will converge only if the common ratio is less than 1, right? Because if you were multiplying, let's say, by 3 every time, this is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. There's no way it's going to converge to any number. But if it's a dividing by 3 and getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, then we have a chance. And um, actually, for geometric, we know it's going to converge. So we need to make it, if they want the x's for which this thing is going to converge, we need to make it so that the absolute value of the common ratio is less than 1. Well, we can just dump that uh, negative because it's in the absolute value like that. And we can rewrite this absolute value as the x minus 2 being sandwiched between the negative 1 and the 1. Just add a 2 to both sides, and we get 1 is less than x is less than 3. So those are the values of x for which that sequence will converge. And if you want to test it, um, let's test it, right? On the test, you'd be done. But if you're curious about what the heck this thing means, because it looks a little abstract, um, you can pick any number you want between 1 and 3. Fractions are fine, but I don't want to go there, so I'm going to choose a 2. Uh, so if I let x equals 2, then my sequence becomes 1 minus 0 plus, ooh, huh, this is a boring one, 0 minus 0 plus, and it'll be zeros all the way. And so if, clearly if you add this sequence together, all of those terms, you're just going to get a 1, and clearly that converges, that infinite sum adds to 1, and that makes sense. Um, what if we try something a little bit more exciting? What if we try um, let x equal 3 halves? That's between 1 and 3. So we have 1 minus uh, 3 halves minus 2 is negative 1 half to the first, and then I have negative 1 half to the second, and negative 1 half to the third, and so on. So this is 1 plus a half um, minus a fourth uh, see oh no plus a fourth did I do oh that was supposed to be minus so this is minus minus makes the plus plus squared will be plus the negative and then negative will make a plus so these are all going to be positive one eighth, and so on. And you can see that this is a geometric sequence, a normal geometric sequence with a uh, uh, common ratio of a half. And um, so it will converge. If you add all these up, you could actually find the sum if you wanted as the first term over 1 minus r. So a little crazy, but it works. That's it.